What's going on guys? I'm talking about Madden 13 Ultimate Team today and I want to make this video today to talk about some of the things that are really bothering me with an Ultimate Team and mainly it's just the collecting phase and so if you guys agree with what I have to say in this video and you want to see EA hopefully improve the mode and make some of the changes that I talk about please do leave a like, a favorite, share it on Twitter, help this video get seen because there are some things in Ultimate Team that I think really need to be changed and it's all about collecting because collecting is one of the main components of Ultimate Team. And I feel is given a big emphasis this year because they're adding so many collections each week for the real NFL games. There's like a matchup game for every game. That's at least 15, 16 games a week. And then you have all these other collections they're doing for fantasy. And I love how they're doing so many things to make this mode last a long time. They're giving the shelf life of Ultimate Team a very long lifespan. But one of the main concerns for me is how long it takes to actually do the collecting. And I'm not talking about getting all 35 cards for a collection or all 10 rare cards for a collection. It's taking the cards you already have that fit into collections and getting them into the respective collections. Now I use a link in the description and that link is going to be a Madden 13 Ultimate Team card database and what that does is you type in the last name of any player and that's going to tell you what collections they go in and if that site didn't exist if that database didn't exist i wouldn't play ultimate team because it takes too much time to navigate menus and to do the things you need to do to collect in this game there are already over 120 collections to do and i don't want to have to go through and check every collection to make sure i know what cards go in there and so the database for me is huge. I'm all about saving time when it comes to navigating menus because it's not part of the core gameplay. This is not the fun part of the mode. Buying packs and throwing things into collections can be fun, but when you spend majority of your time navigating menus, and this is all unedited gameplay right here, not sped up, not slowed down, it's already slow enough, of me taking cards from my reserves putting them into my active cards, putting those cards into the pending collection, navigating the collections, finding the ones I need to, repeat the process so I can go back and collect all the other cards in my pending collection. So I'm offering a problem here, but I also want to offer some solutions. First of all, let us send cards from the reserves, which holds a thousand cards or whatever it is, 900,000 cards, to our pending collection. Don't make us jump through an extra hoop. The active cards is essentially a middleman that slows down the process. And also, there's only 50 five active players on the roster and so I'm obviously having my full roster of players there that I play with but if I also want to do some collecting in between games maybe I'm only gonna have a few slots open to send to my active cards so what you're doing is you're slowing down the process for me because I can only send like three or four or five cards to my active cards to send to the pending collection and I have to do it all over again because I had like 200 cards in my reserves and I was going through the database and saying okay what goes into what collection I'm gonna get this sorted through because I've had fun playing ultimate team today because yesterday I did a live stream and I realized how difficult it was to do collecting when all you're doing is navigating menus and so Take out the process of having to send it to the active cards first before it goes to pending collection. Let us go from reserves to pending collection without any hassle there. And then, you really need to fix this. This was something I believe was part of Madden 12. Now I'm going through here, I got this pack just to show you guys an example. I'm speeding up the gameplay here a little bit. But, once you buy a pack, obviously you get all these players here. Some of these guys go into collections. Now I thought Tremaine Johnson would go into the Rams collection, I just assumed so because he was a rookie. But he doesn't, but that's besides the point right now. Let's just say he does go in there. I can't send him to pending collection from this screen. He has to go to my active first and then to pending collection. So stop making us jump through hoops. That is completely unnecessary right there. And so if you eliminate these steps right here, if you just allow us to send cards from, pen, from the packs to the pending collection or from reserves to pending collection, you save people a lot of time. And the other thing I want to see fixed is how you go through the collecting menus here. Once you go into your collections, of course, you see the 120-some collections. They're all categorized by, like, the new packs, the warm-ups, the fantasy, the team, the extras, the fantasy football ones. But once you go collect a card, it brings you back to the main screen. And now I'm talking once again. Time is a factor. I treat time like a currency, and I don't want to waste it. So I, I had this timed out before. I got into collections for my first three cards I wanted to collect earlier in the video at 1 minute and 40 seconds and I finished collecting the third card at 3 minutes and 15 seconds. That is over 90 seconds it took to collect three cards. 
And then you look at the number of total collections there are, which is over 120, and you look at a lot of the collections that require 10, but even 30 cards in some cases, that's a lot of time it's going to take to just navigate menus. You'll we'll spend hours and hours and hours and hours of time navigating menus if you're going to complete a lot of collections this year. Now I want time to be focused on buying packs and playing games. And yeah, I understand going through the collections here and looking through what you have to do to go collect a card, but how about when you exit a collection, you stay at least in that category. I mean, you're saving seconds there just by staying in that category. Maybe I have a player for the Falcons, the Ravens, the Raiders, and the Saints, and I want to stay in the teams. I don't want to go to any other category. If I back out of a collection, I want to stay right there. And for a player like me, I like to play games and I like to buy packs in between a couple of games. I mean, when I make my videos, I'll play like one or two games. I'll do a live stream, play a couple games, buy a pack. But when I want to go through, maybe I have three cards to collect or four or five cards to collect from a certain pack. I have to send them to my actives, make sure I have enough room in my actives first off to do that. Then depending, then I have to go to the collections and actually go through each one. And that sends me back to the main collection menu, go through over and over again. It just takes too much time. Like, I want to be able to spend my time a little bit more wisely in Ultimate Team, either playing games or basically, yeah, just playing games. I want to play more games, but I'm also a major collector. And I finished over 50 or 60 collections last year, every team collection. There were so many things I did, especially towards the end of the, the season for Madden 12. And then once Madden 13 came around, I got into Madden Ultimate Team, and I'm like, oh my god, collecting takes even longer this year. And that's why up until yesterday, I had played like 10 games total in Ultimate Team Solo Challenge and head-to-head. -head. And so for someone like me who was really into Ultimate Team, I was really turned away initially by this, but now I want to make a video talking about some solutions and things that I am concerned about. And hopefully Hopefully this gets a good enough response, hopefully we can reach EA and maybe they'll address this at least a little bit. At least let us send cards from reserves depending and from a pack depending. I mean that's the that's bare minimum of what I want really for make this mode to get better. And so if you guys do agree that are watching the video, please leave a like, a favorite, link out to Twitter, help people find this video and see it so we can get some exposure on this and hopefully make Ultimate Team a little bit better because I love Madden, I love Ultimate Team, but it can definitely get a lot better and uh, this is this is really time. This is not a gameplay issue, this is not AI, this is just navigating menus and how easy it is for the user. It's all about accessibility and right now it's not very user friendly and I want to see that improve. So anyways guys. Video's coming to an end. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this does help out Ultimate Team a little bit or get the word out. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later.